Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial today. It's on Pro Recipes. So this is a fantastic plugin that allows you to create different items and recipes using GUIs rather than messing around with config files. So let's have a quick look by doing forward slash IT at the items I've created. Um, so I created a leather tunic and I named it Nether Jacket and it's very warm and it has a custom recipe. We have a couple of uh, diamond swords with uh, different names and laws, and we have uh, bottles of enchantment with custom name, custom law, and custom recipe. So the way to craft this is, in fact, with one emerald and lots of gold surrounding it, like that. Uh, so players could do that. There's no permission required, so if you had the items, you could do it very, very easily. So what we're going to do, we're going to create our new item by building it, doing 4 slash bi and it will ask us what item we want to modify. So let's go ahead and choose the diamond sword, pop it in there, and we are going to be able to edit various things about it with a new GUI that pops up. So we can change the name, it's going to be called Nether Sword, like that. And we're going to change the law to uh, very pointy, like that. And you can preview it like that, you can click enchant, you can clear the law, or you can just click finish. So it's now in our inventory, there it is and we can do forward slash rec, short for recipe, um, to start creating a brand new recipe. So do we want the permission for it? Uh, let's go ahead and have um, sword.nether as the permission. Then a GUI will pop up and we can choose from these four different recipes. So we're going to go with shaped recipe, which means you need it in the correct shape or it will not work. So the item is going to be obviously the nether sword, pop that in there. And then we need to actually choose the recipe. So we are going to go with uh, three nether brick. No, that's a pickaxe. Two nether brick and one uh, stick there. Just hit escape to close it and it's been saved. So then we can hop into our um, crafting bench and put it like that. And there we go. We have our nether sword. Very, very, very cool. And if you do force slash IT, we will be able to see it um, there it is right at the end. So we can also do four slash rex to show us all of the recipes and manage them uh, like this and you can also do rex lookup to uh, do the same thing. So that is very cool that you can see all of the different recipes that we created and they look very very nice. So that is cool. So um, we are going to go ahead and do four slash rec to create, uh, let's just get rid of this, four slash rec no, and then uh, let's choose the furnace recipe, and the desired result is a sea lantern. Let's pop that in there, and add the source. So the source is going to be uh, dark prismarine, and there we go. So we can actually burn some prismarine now. Let me find some at the bottom, dark prismarine, um, and then we need some coal, obviously. Where is coal? Where is cold? There it is. And if we get a furnace, we will be able to see the magic happen. So let's pop that down there, pop these in, and there we go. We should get a sea lantern out of dark prismarine. I don't know why this would work, but uh, it does when you burn prismarine now. So that is very cool. 64 to 64. Obviously, you could put one to one if you would uh, prefer that, but it's very cool. Did that instantly. So yeah, that is the plugin. There is a few YML files, but there's really not much in there you would want to edit. So that is the plugin. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.